So I've already decided I'm gonna camp here because it fulfills the number one priority when I'm looking for a campsite, and that is, it is pretty. It has the ooh factor. It looks flat enough, I don't know exactly where I can sleep, so I'm gonna use my sleeping mat and test out the area to find a nice sleeping spot for me and then set up my shelter around that area. No, 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 no. No, 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 wait, maybe. Back at the spot's as good as any, better than most. I'm gonna take down all these dead branches around it so I can make space for setting up my tarp and I can also use these dead branches as kindling. These beaver stumps make great tent pegs. Already sharpened. I mean, it's, it's a little open, very much open, but it's good for now. Time to get wood and cook some dinner. I got a special one tonight. So I got this cool thing to cook with today. It's called a Swedish reflector oven or just a reflector oven. And it packs really thin and it's really light. And you just use the heat and the flame of the fire to, to reflect the heat all in here to cook food for you. Voila! Tonight for dinner I'm doing roasted fingerling potatoes, Brussels sprouts and orange pepper beside the salmon with a maple soy sauce glaze. A little ambitious today, but hey, it's gonna be tasty, so let's do it. Olive oil, can't forget some garlic. Salt, pepper, let's close this up. Yeah. 
chamomile and vanilla honey. coming along, but it's going to need more time. forgot I had this tea. Oh, that's, that's uh, very, very good. I think I'm going to go take another tree before sunset. Something as big as this one, because that's burning really well. There's an exceptional amount of fresh moose poo here. I can't believe it. Everywhere. Fresh dingleberries. Straight from the butt. All right, let's get to the salmon. Salt and pepper. Olive oil in the pan. Yeah, baby. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that. All right, now I'm gonna put this in the oven. How is that? Whoa, that thing is... That thing is looking amazing. Oh my god. Man, we got a world class chef over here. Oh, I'm so impressed. I am so impressed. For the salmon glaze, I got maple syrup, soy sauce, and sesame oil. Should have done this earlier. This is a honey and Dijon dressing. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Fingerling potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and orange peppers with a honey and Dijon mustard glaze. Salmon with a maple and soy glaze. Ah, I'm so excited. My God. Fingerling potatoes and the Brussels sprouts. Mmm. Oh yeah, those are sweet. Mmm. That reflector oven is pretty cool. Shout out to Brad Jennings from Explore the Backcountry for uh, recommending that. Or for showing me that. Thanks, bro. If you're watching. If everything wasn't so wet, I'd probably think this was a bad idea. Wind's kind of coming from the south. Uh, it's starting to drizzle a little bit. It's also kind of getting late. I'm going to use my ground sheet as a little bit of a wall to protect me from the wind and the rain from this side. This tarp doesn't have a tie-up point right here. So what you can do is you can 
use like a stick or a rocks better. Tuck it in there. You can obviously do this with a rope as well. Oh, this is all right. Good night, everyone. Classic. Quick and easy little trip, beautiful location, delicious food, and a good night's rest. What more can you ask for, am I right? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.